Now you've probably already figured out that Golang is going to be super important for Web3, along with Rust, Python, Solidity, and JavaScript, of course. But many people are using Golang as the primary language to build core layer one blockchain products and tools. And in this video, I wanna share with you five such awesome Web3 projects which have been built using Golang. The first one is Web3 CLI. It's a nice CLI tool to interact with Web3 blockchains like Ethereum. And you can read and write data off of these blockchains using the CLI tool. Now you can pull information like blocks, receipts, addresses, balance, contracts, etc., and even accounts, right? All of this information from blockchains. You can read this information without requiring your own keys. But in addition to this, if you want to transfer and send Ethereum, you can also do that to different accounts. But for that, you'll need your keys. So WebCLI is an interesting tool. Check it out. I'll be making a video about it in the future where we'll install it and explore it further. I'll be leaving the links of all of these projects in the description of this video. The second one is Super Highway 84. It's an uncensorable, decentralized discussion system. So you can probably read that here. Uncensorable, decentralized internet discussion system. So your content basically gets hosted on IPFS, which is interplanetary file system. And since, since it's on blockchain, it's decentralized in the sense that nobody can censor whatever you discuss on this discussion board. So imagine Quora, but without filters, without centralized community teams, you, you know, who come and make these systems safe from spammers and from trolls. So none of that basically, it's, it's completely decentralized, you can write whatever you want here. And nobody is the central authority, nobody has control over the entire system. So I found it quite interesting, you can check it out, it has quite a, quite a bit of stars, but not many, just 290 stars, but that's considered really high because the Web3 community is quite small and the Golang Web3 community is smaller, obviously, so there are less stars, but I feel this project is going to be big in the future. Now, the next one is a huge project. It's Hyperledger Firefly. You've, we've all heard about Hyperledger Fabric. This is Hyperledger Firefly. It's a solid enterprise-grade blockchain solution. Okay, it's the first open source super node. Okay, it's a complete stack. Uh, like you can see, it's a complete stack for enterprises to build and scale highly secure Web3 applications. So if you want to build production ready applications on popular chains, this is what you'd ideally be using. And you get microservices out of the box. And in addition to the regular CLI, you also get a uh, regular CLI, you also get a Firefly Explorer UI. With the help of the UI, you can do much more. You get dashboards and charts and you know visuals to see what, what's happening on the blockchain. You also get a you also get a Firefly sandbox. So, uh, needless to say, it's a it's a complete solution. You have monitoring and telemetry with Prometheus. So it's a complete solution. You need to check it out. You can build uh, right, like a lot lot of different types of blockchain solutions using Hyperledger Fabric. Our fourth project is C3OS. Now, if you've wondered how DevOps will work in the futuristic world of Web3. You don't need to uh, look any further. It's going to happen with C3OS. And you can create decentralized Kubernetes clusters with C3OS. You already know that I'm a big fan of Kubernetes, right? But imagine being able to create decentralized clusters, Kubernetes clusters. And more importantly, uh, you can create multi, multi-node multi Kubernetes clusters. Right? quite complex architectures, right? With K3S, that connect autonomously with the P2P uh, VPNs. And um, this looks super interesting to me. I have not tried it out. If you have tried it out, please leave comments below and let's talk. Uh, I, I'll be happy to learn from you because very soon I'll be exploring this and I'll be creating a video uh, digging down much deeper into this because to me, this looks, looks very, very interesting. It doesn't have a lot of stars somehow, uh, not a lot of contributors, but the idea sounds spot on, idea sounds amazing. Right? Our next project is IPFS Pinner. So if you want to pin files or transfer files to the IPFS, which is your interplanetary file system, you would be doing it through a pinning service like Pinata or Infura. And with the help of IPFS Pinner, it just becomes much easier. It's a very lightweight, small, quick package. I've used it, uh, it works amazingly well. And if you want me to create a video on how to use it, put it in the comments below. I'll make a video on how to use it properly. Um, 
the demand of web3 content is still quite low on my channel but if it increases i'll be creating more and more of such awesome content and show and i'll show you how to use the ipad spinner very simple small package you can see it here and within few lines he was able to use it right awesome so you know that on this channel you always get extra so i want to cover two more projects with you this is bonus content two more projects so total seven projects instead of five web3 projects in golang now our sixth project is ipfssearch.com so if you remember in the 90s when the internet was exploding people started creating search engines to be able to index those websites so that people can search those websites and search content from those websites and the similar pattern is being repeated with ipfs now so people are building specialized mechanisms or or search engines to be able to search data on the IPF, ipfs and this is an example of such a system so ipfssearch.com is a project that helps you to search uh, you know relevant files on the ipfs and um, being written in golang means that it's super lightweight fast and all of those awesome things that come with being in golang seven contributors 678 stars doing quite well it's two years old and i i think it's going to have a great future so um, check it out i have not checked it out personally till now but uh, in case you want to check it out do it i'll be making a video on it soon after exploring it a little bit so and now let's jump into our our final and our last project our last project is hyperspace now vpns built on top of ipfs are a reality now and hyperspace is a lightweight vpn built on top of ipfs and lib p2p lib p2p basically is a, a networking library that allows nodes to discover each other using a distributed hash table so this means the VPN will be for truly distributed networks. Okay, so it's a new new project, few months old, and it has uh, six contributors and two forty six stars. So it's just picking up. It's just picking up, but I think it's going to have a great future. Okay. So still, the Web three space is quite early. There are not a lot of people in the Web three space. It's a great time now if you want to enter into the Web three space before it's too late. And keep watching my videos, subscribe to this channel. I'll keep bringing such awesome content for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.